the Bunny Jew as Falcherudas Shachle. She Fiona McCardell Mish. I'm Fiona McCardell and I'd like to welcome you to Shachle. In Shachle this time, on Shachle and Kid Show, Crevis Goals and Ellen. What's happening in the island? Well, there's plenty of opportunities to enjoy a range of music in the coming week. A Shengol Shachmer Arn Jane Krunich. And that includes as part of Enchrunyach. Chloe Woolley and Joe Collister of Enchrunyach gave us an overview of this year's Inter-Celtic Festival. <laughs> this evening, Thursday the 18th of July at 7.30, the Erin Arts Centre hosts a concert with Marlene Masker and Dilla Sauri. This is one of the Parish of Russian summer concerts, and Marlene and Dillis will be singing a range of songs, often accompanying themselves on guitar and bass. Entry is free, and there will be a retiring collection. If you're in Douglas this evening, you can go to the Villa Marina Arcade at 8 o'clock for a concert being given by Manx Concert Brass. This is part of the Isle of Man Arts Council Summer Season Arts in the Arcade initiative, and all the concerts are free of charge. Looking to the week ahead, there's plenty more to enjoy in the Arts Council programme in the Villa Marina Arcade. On Sunday afternoon, the 21st of July, at 3 o'clock, the Manx Youth Band will be playing there. On Tuesday evening, the 23rd, at 8 o'clock, you can enjoy the sound of the Onkin Silver Band. And there's a lunchtime concert on Wednesday the 24th, from 1 till 2, as Richard Cole plays the Villa Marina Arcade Wurlitzer. Get the row, Vamona in a hulish, er gene, failure either Keltiacha her a bun. We chronic had the row immedi cushion goler on stoolish, a get treshen. But John Bethel a her a bun, failure vanenen, son a hood smooth, a glare elenen on spurt charn. Vamona heen cummel hoos vi laxe, as a get treshen, va failure a claxe, va genu er delia, j a shanakas venidis. Och goes Jack dancing as kjol. And she be, ren mona genachten, the rau rum say, bonus jarudich. Er a fe shen, reni rai the raui gi, failure erecha on shen. De eden breaches, hai a rash gus naiki jeg kier speed. Tre hai an hid, chrunach vananach a shunach a kummel. Och reni image jay version jain chaura dan shan failure shen. As demnesi and failure no, and chrunyach. Harau and chrunyach vanenach a shunach farachten, ach rish on le. Haya kumul like sawen, as she failure vajenu erdelia je kultu vanen. Golstiach and gilk, a renes as kyol, as erd letracht, elden, as lay in the tie, ons genus su as funya. Ve gol vos naiki jag cares feed, derabonus kyan na blint and jayas feed. Och ane homenig, esh, hur and failure bass and nyachaga. Mona Douglas had the idea of establishing a festival which she called an chrunich in Ramsey. Unlike the former one day chrunich van in Achashunach of 40 or 50 years earlier, this time it would be an inter Celtic festival over the course of about a week. Mona first arranged Failure Vanenach Romse, Ramsey Manx Festival, in 1977, and the programme for that event announced that Unchrunyach would be held in 1978. It was, and it's been held ever since. However, because of a succession of developments in Ramsey, there was difficulty finding venues, and so in 2007, Unchrunyach moved its centre of operations to Peel. Chloe Woolley and Joe Collister are members of the organising committee of what is now Unchrunyas Celtic Gathering. Coming up then we have the 47th edition of Unchrunyak since it started in 1978. So what are the dates of it this year and what have we got to look forward to? Well, we start on Monday the 22nd of July and we finish up on the afternoon and evening of the 28th, um, Sunday, 28th of July. We're very, very grateful to our sponsors, 
each year we are very, very lucky that we've got Culture Vannon and the Isle of Man Arts Council. They've been long-term supporters of the festival. And we have also got a new sponsor on board for a couple of our events this year, Vinaudry Distillery. Other events, we've had assistance from a digital group, IFGL, Malcolm Scott Dickinson Charitable Trust, the Soundcheck Charity, they're funding some educational workshops for us. And our Irish group, the Len Collective, are being sponsored by Culture Island. We've also had lots of help from other companies and organisations. Isle of Man Post Office have helped us with our printing. We've also had UNESCO Biosphere, Man Social and local companies and organisations such as Peel Town Commissioners. We we're very grateful to the, for Enterprise, for the domestic fund, who are sponsoring our events down at Black Dog Pizza, where we've got live music on several evenings of the week. We've also got lots of venues that have helped us over the years, um, Noah Market Hall and the Centenary Centre, House of Manannan, always amazing, and the Cathedral and Corrin Hall, amongst many others. Some of the things that are happening throughout the week, obviously along with our main concerts and performances, we've got performances 12 till 2, Tuesday till Friday at the House of Manannan, so they're displays and workshops outside, hopefully, if the sunshine comes out. So lots of our visiting artists and Manx artists will be performing there. We've got every day, one till two, at Noah Bakehouse Market Hall, we've got food and folk sessions. So we've got different countries represented each day. So you can find out more in the programme. So big thanks to Noah for that. We've got lots of five o'clock tea time sessions at Black Dog. So that's from Wednesday through till Sunday. So if you've been attending all our events during the day in Peel and you'd like to stay there for a little bit longer, you can come down, listen to some music, grab some food and then head back for our evening concerts. As well as, of course, our sessions that we have in the White House pub. So they're on Monday, the Thursday and the Saturday's day as well. And every year, Mkroniak invites visitors to come to Mkroniak to take part, as well as, of course, so many top-quality Manx performers who take part. But who's coming from the other Celtic countries this year? Well, we're starting the festival with a Scottish band called Heisk. Well, they're, they're mainly Scottish. We've got Ward Manx Girl in there, Isla Collister. So they're going to be starting our series of Centenary Centre concerts. So that's on Monday the 22nd, which promised to be a great night. And that's with support from Daniel Quayle and Elizabeth um, Davidson Blythe. From Ireland, we're honoured that we've got a big group called the Len Collective. And they're based around the Cobblestone Pub, which is a pretty famous venue in Dublin. Irish singers, dancers and instrumentalists, they also speak Gaelic. So they're coming over with some dancers from Kaylee Lechalia, who will give some demonstrations and call some dancers and do some workshops for us. We've also got acts from Cornwall and Brittany. So from Cornwall, we've got Richard Jathui, who's a lovely singer and fiddle player, and he's coming with some members of the Rowan Tree. So he'll be performing at various venues and evenings during the week and during the day. And from Brittany, we've got a mother and daughter duo, Brigitte and Catel Kluereg, who are both Fesnoz singers. And if you're not familiar with Fesnoz, it's a type of Breton dancing. Um, so they will be singing for dancing, but also telling some of the stories of Brittany through their song. Brigitte is also an academic, so she's going to give our annual Ian O'Leary lecture, and that's all going to be about St Bridget and her place in Brittany and the Celtic nations. We have another Scottish act closing the festival, and that is Duncan Chisholm. And he is one of Scotland's most established and revered fiddle players. Um, and so he's going to come over um, to Portman Saturday the 27th. He's going to have accompaniment from Ross Ainsley and Hamish Napier. Manx-wise, we've got loads on offer. From youth bands like Sharon of Egg and Scran to established composers like Katie Lawrence. So on the Saturday evening before Duncan Chisholm plays, um, she's going to be launching her first ever tune book and is bringing some friends on stage to perform some of her compositions, which is going to be very, very exciting. During the lunch hours at the House of Manannan, we're going to have a daily workshop upstairs 
in the St Patrick's Suite. Hi, so we're going to do a tunes workshop for young musicians. We will have a Breton dance workshop, some Irish Shonnos dancing, some Cornish tunes and a harp tunes workshop with Mira Royal. On the Saturday, we're having a masterclass at lunchtime with Duncan Chisholm for advanced violin players. But others who play other instruments can enjoy some Scottish tunes with Ross and Hamish. Also this year, I'm sure our avid followers will be pleased to know that the Mega Manx Cayley is back. This year, however, very excitingly, it's not being held at the Villa Marina in Douglas. It's being held in St Germans Cathedral in Peel. So if you're listening and you've booked your ticket, please remember it's booked in Peel and don't head off to the Villa Marina. We're very pleased that Fenorda are sponsoring that night. So we've got some drinks on offer from them and some food from Philby's. And I think it's one of the first big events to be held in the cathedral, which is a beautiful space we've been in. We've had a look, plenty of room for dancing. And obviously the night focuses on dancing. So we've got the well-loved Mega Manx Cayley Band. We've got some dancers from Gina's Dance Academy, from Nefany and Brigitte and Cattell that Chloe mentioned before. They'll be leading some dancers and our Irish visitors. And of course, Ellen Van and Pipes and Drums will be playing us in. Fenodri and Distillery are also sponsoring our Celtic Seasons concert, which is going to be on Thursday the 25th of July in the Centuni Centre. And this is like an inter-Celtic variety show. And it's going to be narrated by our president, Bob Carswell, RBV. And it's going to take us through the year, through a medley of songs, poetry, dancing and instrumental numbers. Quite an interactive element to it. Fun for all involved, whether they're on stage or in the audience. And it's just a lovely celebration of our past and present and calendar customs that we share amongst the Celtic countries. So, of course, this is a nice connection to Fnordru Distillery because they have the different seasons of gin. We will have projections of Julia Ashby Smythe's lovely designs on projected throughout. On the Wednesday evening, 24th of July, um, we have a choice for our Festival Pass holders or audience goers at Centenary Centre in conjunction with Films in Peel and with the sponsorship from Irish Film Institute, we're showing a film, The Camino Voyage. And this is a documentary film about a crew that set off from Ireland in a boat that they've built themselves. So it includes musicians, including Brendan Begley, and got a stonemason there and a writer, and some of it will be in Irish Gaelic, but with um, subtitles, some of it in English. But it's an adventure, so that's at 7.15 on Wednesday 24th. Meanwhile, down at the Masonic Hall, bottom of Stanley Road, there's going to be a special 200th birthday Cayley for the Manx giant, Arthur Cayley. We thought this was quite a nice connection, um, as it actually is his 200th birthday this year. So we're going to have the Arthur Cayley giant band reunited. (laughs) And we're going to have dance displays from Perry Byrne and Kayleigh dancing from Brigitte and Catal from Brittany and Kayleigh Lecalia and others. There's also an optional circus themed fancy dress for that. So please do join in. Come as a clown or a hero. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our annual Saturday gathering, which takes place um, 11 till 4 in the grounds of the cathedral and Corrin Hall. So that's free for families. And I think we said last year that as the date changed to be the first week of the summer holidays, it's much easier for families and children to attend. So that Saturday is always really successful. The song night has been a, an extremely popular addition to Uncronia. Yeah, it has. I think we possibly put this in when we had Briar's Boys, the Cornish group, over. I think that's that was the first time we held the song night. So we thought it was important that we had a night that solely celebrated song. So we put it together because we all love a sing song and who knew so many other people like to sing song as well. So it has been, the past two years, been sold out. We do still have tickets available. So if you'd like to come along to the Masonic Hall and Peel at half past seven on Tuesday the 23rd of July, the song night is sponsored by Digital Group and you can have a sing-along with Richard Trithui, 
and his band are Cornish visitors. Susan Coyle and Mary Malloy, they'll be playing. Mine's a shanty. We've got a little performance from Uncle Air and we'll have some words printed out. And for those of you who are the more technical among us, we'll have some QR codes so you can sing along to your phone as well. We have our Festival Friends initiative running again this year too. So this has been really successful and just helps to get everybody involved really. So in the programme and on the website, there's a big list of all our Festival Friends, not only in Peel, but all over the Isle of Man really. We're glad that we've got Juliet's in Peel on board this year. So Juliet will be doing a workshop, a cake and biscuit decorating workshop on the Monday afternoon. We also have got Miller's Tale in Peel. A few of the music sessions will be happening in there. And there's many more festival friends who were who were very grateful for another new supporter of the festival this year is unesco biosphere isle of man so Nkrinyat Dura biosphere partner and we work hard to be as sustainable as possible we always encourage people to bring water bottles along to refill and we had a pre-loved Crunyuk merchandise sale last year so if you've got any t-shirts you want to bring along do bring those and they've very kindly sponsored our t-shirts and our reusable bags this year so if you want to bring some pennies along and, and spend your money do look out for their lovely UNESCO Biosphere logo. We're also collaborating with a few other local organisations in Peel so on the Wednesday evening there's usually the summer concert down at Sailor Shelter which is Paul Reynolds' organizers with others so we're having a little bit of a takeover that night so there'll be celtic music acts as part of their 8 p.m concert in the sailor's shelter and that will be with jamie smith and frank jocken and a folk duo called tarmac who are from brighton but have manx connections so they're going to be appearing we're also linking up with peel sea fest who are going to be at the final weekend and have events going on down at the sailing club So we are sending down some shanty singers, the star shanty singers from Ramsey, and we'll be putting the Len Collective in there for some Irish tunes as well. Chloe Woolley and Joe Collister, who are involved in organising an Hrunius Celtic Gathering, which starts on Monday the 22nd of July and runs through till Sunday the 28th. As Moise to Jaru to Joe as Chloe, my grateful thanks to Joe and Chloe for giving us such a comprehensive overview of Nkrunia's Celtic gathering this year. I don't quite know what it was about Chloe's suggestion of coming to the Wednesday evening Cayley dressed as a clown, but, uh, well, as you heard, it set the three of us off. I had to cut out quite a bit of it before we all settled down again. Anyway, we'll come back to that circus theme, but I thought as we jumped backwards and forwards there to get a feel for all that's involved in Nkrunyak that we better have a look at what's coming up in order. And we'll start on Monday the 22nd of July. From 1 till 2 you can enjoy some music in the Knoll Bakehouse on the North Quay in Douglas in the former market building on Market Hill. The sessions give people a chance to hear and to enjoy some music, but also to bring along an instrument and join in, perhaps even to sing. The concert in the Centenary Centre in Peel at 7.30 on Monday evening opens with Elizabeth Davidson Blythe and Daniel Quayle. And then, after the interval, it's Scottish-based band Heisk. I say Scottish-based because it's another homecoming for one of their members, Isla Collister. The band Heisk, and an excerpt from their musical evocation of the Manx tradition of Tiggy Tiggy. There's also an opportunity on Monday evening to join in a few tunes yourself in the White House in Peel. On Tuesday the 23rd of July, there's a pop-up Gweiltach in the House of Manannan in Peel at 11 o'clock, so go along and have a chat in Manx. Between 12 and 2 at the House of Manannan, there's the first of those opportunities to enjoy music and dance, and in the St. Patrick's Suite on Tuesday, the members of high school will be giving a music workshop for young musicians. Meanwhile, in the Nor Bakehouse in Douglas from 1 till 2, it'll be an Irish session, with some of the musicians who regularly play at O'Donnell's. 
At 7.30 in Peel, it's the E. Arenach, the song night, in the Peel Masonic Hall at the foot of Stanley Road, with lots to enjoy throughout the night. Wednesday the 24th of July brings another variety of performers to the House of Menanen, starting at 12 o'clock but going on this time till 2.30, and that includes Brigitte and Catel Clouareg explaining some Breton dances and then singing for people to dance them. Mother and daughter Brigitte and Catel Cloireg singing that Breton style of Can Hadiscan, sung and unsung, the traditional way of accompanying dancing, and there they were singing for a dance plin. The Noor Bakehouse session on Wednesday from 1 till 2 is with Cornish musicians Richard Tithui and members of the Rowan Tree. But, as usual, bring along an instrument and feel free to play along and even to lead out some tunes wherever they're from. Wednesday also brings the first of those Black Dog sessions in Peel at 5 o'clock, a chance to enjoy some music over a pizza and a drink. As Chloe mentioned, there's a choice on Wednesday evening – with the award-winning film The Camino Voyage being shown at 7.15 in the Centenary Centre. The first thing is to say, when we are in the house, the food is very good for us. And the story is very good for us. Maar dan mag de hele dus de wereld de hele schoon melanen worden. Dat dat dan alleen voor vak. It's like that shackles and had many long months of darkness at sea, complete failure possible, glory if we return. <laughs> so you know, how can you say no to that? Sordio taimat boscario. Vienen desde Irlanda. Madre de alma, son unos auténticos celtas. Whilst down at the Peel Masonic Hall, there's the Arthur Cayley 200th birthday Cayley. Arthur Cayley spent some of his time as Colonel Routh Goshen in P.T. Barnum Circus in America, so there's a circus-themed fancy dress for those who'd like to throw themselves into that. On Thursday the 25th, there's another pop-up Gueltach at the House of Mananen from 11am. There's more fun and frolics in and around the House of Mananen from 12 till 2, including an Irish Shan Norse dance workshop from 12 till 1 with the Len Collective, and a Cornish Tunes workshop from 1 o'clock with Richard Trithui and the Rowan Tree. At the Noor Bakehouse from 1 till 2, there's a session with Breton and Welsh music and song. Cornish musician Richard Trithui will be playing down at the Black Dog at 5 o'clock that afternoon. Also at 5 o'clock on Thursday afternoon, Breton academic Brigitte Cloireg will be giving the Ian O'Leary Lecture 
on St. Bridget as the midwife of Mary, in songs and stories from France and the Celtic countries. At seven o'clock there'll be a music session at the Miller's Tail in Michael Street in Peel, and at 7.30 in the Peel Centenary Centre it's the Celtic Seasons Concert. Meanwhile there's another gig at eight o'clock at the Black Dog, and there'll also be music that evening at the White House, so lots going on in Peel. Anyway, we can remind you of those Thursday evening opportunities next time. Joe and Chloe will be back to tell us about the events from Thursday evening into the weekend in Shacklair next time. St Thomas's Church in Douglas is the setting for a series of summer concerts on a Wednesday evening at 7.45. The concerts are followed by refreshments. There's no admission charge, but there is a retiring collection. Next Wednesday evening, the 24th of July, you can enjoy the singing of the Lawn Venn Ladies' Choir, conducted by Christine Brigazzi. And once again, the ferrics are back. Jean Tucker's creation, the Jerby Mice, taking their name from the dedication of Jerby Church to New Ferrick, St. Patrick, feature a year in the life of Isabella Victoria Rose. Jean has been helped in the production of the many characters by Ros Richards, and you can enjoy seeing all that the Jerby mice get up to in Jerby Church between 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock each day. All funds to the Friends of Jerby Church as they arrange for further repairs and refurbishment of the building. A chene vos Shachlet and Tiachn show. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Shachlet. So, now from me, Nish Vom, Fiona McArdle, Slen Liu. Thank you.